this video tell us about the corporate governance in PT Indofood Success Makmur or ICBP. Here we have four things to explain. The first about the company profile of ICBP. The second one is about the strategic planning and the good corporate governance implementation of ICBP. The third about the SWOT analysis and the last about the five quarter analysis. First of all, let's talk about the company profile. ICBP is the leading company of consumer branded product sector that was established in 1982. ICBP is the largest company in the food and beverage sector, which is better in the food success Makmur, it is the parent company of the ICBP. ICBP has six segments in their operation. The first is noodles, and the second is dairy, the third is the snack food, and the fourth is beverages, and the last is the food and sushi. ICBP have vision and mission, and we divide into five vision and mission. The first is continuously innovate, which is focusing on the consumer needs, and the second to deliver quality product, and the third is continuously improvement in the people, process, and technology. And the fourth, to contribute welfare of environment and the society in sustainable manner, and the last, to continuous improve stakeholders' value. So we move to the strategic planning of ICBP. In here, because higher GDP growth in Indonesia and seed inflation in here, they expect that domestic private consumption and government spending will increase the demand of the ICB. And of course, the sixth segment, they have expect more innovation in the products. And also, they maintain leadership in market position. Also, they use media communication to market their products. Okay guys, now we talk about the strategic corporate governance. ICBP has set several strategies to elevate the implementation of good corporate governance and to obtain the transparency, accountability, responsibility, independency, and fairness. The first strategy of ICBP is they form a new of board of directors and set a new rights of board of commissioners. Which is ICBP select Mr. Priyo Handoyo Kristanto as the new independent commissioner. The second strategy is determine the new of total remuneration for board of commissioner and board of director, which is ICBP set 47 billion rupiah of remuneration that should be given to board of commissioner and board of directors. Now we move to the third strategy which is ICBP reappoint the company's auditor and then they select the new auditor company or registered public accountant. The fourth one is conducted extraordinary general meeting which is ICBP approving the amendment of shares nominal values. And the other strategy is redesign the duties and responsibility of board of directors. Includes legal considerations, description of duties, working hours and meeting policies and the next one is the enhancing the competency to work in new training and development program which is they develop some strategic renewal for survival and growth for each board of commissioner and board of directors and the last strategy of corporate governance from icbp is they establish the audit committee which is the audit committee will work to outline the structure of activities eligibility and membership, independency, duties, and others. Now I will talk about the SWOT analysis of PT ICBP. First is strength. They have low production costs, reliable product both nationally and internationally, have many subsidiaries, the total is 17. Two business principles in all countries adopted the local laws, cultural practices, and religious practices. The division of task distribution on each capital owner has been divided privately, clear, and clear in accordance with the position of each capital owner. Second, weaknesses. They have too many brand issues, too many flavor innovation made by Indofood, unmet market demand, too many divisions taken care of the company which create an efficient impression, 
then the large number of labor make the company vulnerable to shock when the sale of product are decreased. Third, opportunities. They need to make an expansion abroad, diversify to other products, utilizing a business in helping the growth of market share through internet, use customer test as the best of product creation, and join with a company which has a similar products. The last trait, fierce competition within the segment of products and do not focus on one type of product only. The next one is about five quarter analysis. It used to identifying the competitive of the company in industry and its competitiveness and it used to point out ICBP business strategy development. First is about potential of new entrants. There are two kind of new entrants in this industry. First is Samyang, Samyang noodles from Korea. In here, the Samyang is become known because of the Korean cultures in Indonesia is booming nowadays. And then the second one is about Wings Food from Wings Group. Here, Wings Food offer affordable price so they can attract the customer. And then they offer new flavor in the middle of consumer boredom of the existing flavor. The second one is about bargaining power of the supplier. There, the ICBP have a good product that reflect that they have a good supplier. And there are three, three of supplier. First is Floor from Bugasari Floor Mills. They choose this company because Bugasari have three kind of floor. First is Takra Kembar, the second one is Segitiga Biru, and the third one is Segitiga Hijau. And the best quality for product producing noodles is from Takra Kembar. The last supplier in this company is oil from Salim Ifomas. They choose this because Salim Ifomas is the company that have integrated agribusiness as this is the one of subsidiaries of ICBP itself. For the supply chain management of ICBP, they choose to use SAP Advanced Planner and Optimizer for, in, for production planning and inventory control and they also undertake acquisition of Bugasari to control the supply of raw material. The third one is about treat of substitute product. The substitute product is increasing because the appearance of healthy life. In here one the example of substitute product is Nafisa. Nafisa noodles is dry noodle from organic ingredients for example carrot and tomatoes and these noodles proceeds without preservative and synthetic dyes so it's suitable for the healthy life customer the fourth one is about bargaining of buyer the icbp targeting customer is above three years old and then they also focus on end user because they are more loyal for example in Semarang they have high, higher consumption rate and then ICBP also consider about the change in lifestyle because people tend to be have busy life so they more they more like to eat instant food for the customer relationship management ICBP use social media to approach their customer and one of the expected approach is true slogan for example in indomie they use slogan semua orang punya cerita indomie mana ceritamu so it's more approach to the customer so the customer know well about the products the last one is about existing competitor because of higher demand of instant food it bring more opportunity to other products to appear in this industry for example misedap from wings food they have aggressive promotion to offer their products so they more known in the market and then they also offer flavor that represent the taste of Indonesian people for example
you for watching our video and hope this video will be beneficial for your future analysis and don't forget to like our video and thank you very much see you, see you.